हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रोफेसर ए सी जाधव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर के केवाक कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक अंडर द कोर्स ऑफ हॉर्ड थ्री फाइव फोर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द लैंडस्केप यूजेस ऑफ ट्री श्रब एंड क्लैम्बर प्लांट दिस थ्री ऑल आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ एनी टाइप ऑफ अ गार्डन सो गाइज वी विल डिस्कस देयर यूजेस इन अ गार्डनिंग गाइज this video is only for a educational purpose and not for any of the education any of the commercial use first of all the tree so what is mean by the tree tree are the group of the plant with a woody self supporting stem and crown of the foliage then what are the utility and the place in a garden the trees are as essential feature of the landscape gardening in any gardens whether it is the small or the large tree it is the essential living component tree can be used as ornamental flowering tree for a garden park urban and the rural area beautification so the garden where or the place which we consider for the pleasantness and the pleasureness all type of the climate which create such a type of the surrounding so in this climate this tree contribute a very important role flowering trees like a spathodia scassia tabebuia dandelion dandelionix can adorn a garden park and industrial gar- garden with their beautiful flower when they are the flowering they are pick up the center of attraction and that's why increase the beauty of garden the trees like a tabebuia which flower during the summer also the cassia and the spathodia it can enhance that beauty of the garden in a summer dry condition too this tree can be used for the industrial garden with their beautiful flower in a entrance or as any of the outsider area if industry decorate with the garden which include the tree as per their utility definitely it enhance the beauty this tree can be used for the roadside plantation in urban cities so as a shade loving as a road side means the avenue trees are again very important utility some tree gives the dense shade which can be used for giving the shade along the road side also can be used for the groves in a city parks children parks and the big gardens the tree also play the significant role in controlling the air pollution therefore in a industrial garden factory garden the foliage tree which absorb the noxious gases are essentially planted they are also planted along the road side in a cities for checking the air pollution for from the vehicle some trees bearing scented flower just like jasmine then cestrium so can be planted in a garden which feel in a air with a fragrance some trees are bearing a edible fruits like a mango guava coconut can be planted in a kitchen garden trees can be planted as a shelter belt or a wind break in a industrial zone to check the air pollution or to protect from the adverse climber conditions for example eucalyptus casuarina silver oak asoka these are the well known example of the plants which we used for shelter belt and the wind break the trees can be planted at as ornamental specimen tree for example acacia coki then thuja compacta so itself they increase the beauty of the garden
classification of the trees on the basis of their uses the trees are classified as a shade tree the trees which has a dense canopy and provide the shade they are come under the shade trees like a fi ficus species then ornamental foliage tree the trees which have attractive type of the foliage which act as a peculiar feature they comes under the ornamental foliage tree like a philisium decipens then orchestria then cookie etc then road avenue tree this is the third classification or category of the trees on a road side which enhance the beauty has a utility so these are the road avenue tree like a peltoforum gulmohar etc and ornamental flowering trees so again the peltoforum bottle brush these are considered as a ornamental but in addition to this one these are are again the flowering category which play a very vital and important role in any type of the garden and the trees for the shelter beds so the plant like uh, eucalyptus silver oak casuarina they are useful for the preparation of the shelter bed in area which are heavily and frequently prone for the high wind velocity which causes the detrimental effect on the main crop and that's why such a type of the practice helpful to protect the main crop in such a category this type of the hardy or fast growing plant as a tree we used and last one that is the trees which gives delicious type of the fruits like a mango sapota and others one second category is a shrub shrub are defined as a group of woody plant similar than the uh, sorry smaller than the trees having 0.5 to 1.5 meter in height which have a tendency to put a numerous branches from its base which is called as a shrub so utility or the place of shrub in a garden even in a small garden or the landscape without shrub we lose much of its charm attraction and the beauty even in a small garden where the plantation of the big trees is not possible some selected shrub must find a place which replaces the site or the place of trees shrubs are important because they are available in a different shape form and the colors and that's why has a great importance in a garden shrubs are available in a various height from dwarf to tall and thus can be put to the various uses in a garden they can be planted in a shrubbery border or as a specimen in a lawn or in a landscape which consider or act as a marvelous piece in a garden or as a focal point in a garden some shrub can be grown along the plant in a landscape or near the gateway or a stair a staircase classification of the shrubs on the basis of their habit so the flowering shrubs like a crocentra which has a attractive type of the flowers shankasurs and many more and the ornamental shrubs the shrubs which has a attractive type of the foliage uh, that is thuja arelia croton these are the popular shrub category under the ornamental next one is a clamber clamber the plant which possess the special structure to climb over the support so this structure with which it can climb it may be a hook like a thorn 
it may be the train rail it may be the rootlets and it may be the modified type of the lift stock so with the help of such type of the structure they can easily climb over the support and grow vertical clamber on the basis of their growing habit and the purpose again classified into the showy flowering clamber the clamber of the group generally display show of the flower with their flowers at a certain time of the year and they are more appealing to the common man that is the showy means having the attractive type of the flowers like almanda ipomea etc clamber with a scented flower clamber may be attractive because of its beautiful flower and foliage or the scent of its flowers clamber may be attractive because of its beautiful virtues some of the clamber possess the sweet scent these are generally grown near the house like a jasmine honeysuckle etc third category clamber with attractive foliage certain clamber are mainly grown for their attractive type of the foliage and the flower of such plants are insignificant so these are comes under the category of the clamber with attractive foliage like asparagus and the shade loving plant the main utility of this type of the shade loving plant is for the indoor beautification the most of the clamber thrive best under the full sun and are a few that grow well under the light or the partial shade like a money plant singonia they are considered as a important type of the shade loving clamber so guys this is about the landscape utility or the uses of tree shrub and clamber thank you thank you very much